All right, the left's attempt to shut down and just demonize conservatives in this country is ramping up again. This time, they're attacking African-American conservative commentator Candace Owens for taking on Black Lives Matter protesters during an event at UCLA. Take a look. What is happening right now in the black community, you're going to hear it in this room first, there is a, an ideological civil war happening. Black people that are focused on their past and shouting about slavery, and black people that are focused on their futures. Victim mentality is not cool. I don't know why people like being oppressed. It's the weirdest thing I've ever heard. I love oppression. We're oppressed. 400 years of slavery, Jim Crow, which, by the way, none of you guys lived through. Your grandparents didn't. It's embarrassing that you utilize, you utilize their history. You utilize their history, and you come in here with more emotion than they ever had when they were living through it. More emotion than they they ever had when they were living through it. It's embarrassing. You're not living through anything right now. You're overly privileged Americans. And on Saturday, Kanye West praised Owens on Twitter, and he wrote this, quote, I love the way Candace Owens thinks, but not every one of Owens is a fan with compliments and support Kanye West support. Look at what Tom Arnold went on a sexist, brutal, vicious, hateful, racist tirade on Twitter. Here's just some of what he tweeted. Aside from being an insane alt-right race pimp, Candace Owens thinks Donald Trump is literally the messiah, not you, at Kanye West, so you might want to reconsider. He also wrote, at Real Condis, uh, good luck uh, while well, glomming on to Kanye West, his family already told him you were a phony and a fraud, a former Democratic bad actress. But I don't even want to talk about this anymore. Candace now joins us here. Um, you are a total star. I watched that tape. I am so impressed and so happy for you that you have this gift. But I am so sad for you also that you have to take on those vicious attacks like that. Thank you so much, first of all, for the compliment. It means a lot coming from you. And let me tell you, do not be sad for me. This is exactly what I wanted. This is exactly what I intended to happen because I knew exactly what I was going up against. When you go up against the left, this is what they do. They try to essentially say that you are not allowed to think differently. I say it all the time. Blacks are ideological slaves and pawns to the Democratic Party. Try and invest in real estate. If you don't put your money on a, under a mattress, believe me, I know what you mean. It's not the same, though. How I watched Kanye West, I was so happy that he did that because that's what I always thought. Everybody should embrace this freedom. Why do so many have a, have a problem with this? It's not a problem with it. You have to think about what the left has done successfully. They've hijacked our education. They hijacked our families via LBJ and the Great Society Act, taking away black fathers so that black youth would start to look at hip hop culture and, and NBA and af NFL athletes for the right direction. This is why they are constantly utilizing Hollywood. And there's developed this underground system of conservative thinkers in Hollywood for fear of losing their jobs. Kanye West is just the first person that's brave enough to come out swinging against them and saying that he has a right to think according to how he would like to. I, I really thought, honestly, it was so refreshing that he did that, and I was, uh, I was happy for you. You know, uh, a very dear friend of mine, Deneen Borelli, she's been a guest on this program often. She wrote a best-selling book, uh, Blacklash. The first thing she writes in the book is Google my name. And because she happens to be a black American who is conservative, the things that come up are the most vicious. Why? Why do you think that is? Well, I think that the reason is because politics is downstream from culture. And if they lose the culture war, they lose absolutely everything they have. They cannot afford to have black people thinking differently. If we move the black vote even 5 percent, the Democratic Party is absolutely finished. So it's essentially a house of cards that they've been building. When you get black icons like you... Kanye West, you get... Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Finish your Go thought. On. No, finish no, or you get black stars to speak out against them, they're in serious trouble. Look at, under President Trump, uh, black and Hispanic unemployment is at the lowest level it's ever been at. Fourteen states have record low unemployment numbers. After eight years of President Obama, 13 million more Americans were on food stamps, 8 million more were in poverty. I said that every night. Do you think this is going to change? Because the Democrats, they'll, every year, every election year, they play the race card. Republicans don't want to count you in the census, uh, the James Byrd ad, and so on and so forth. Do you think this changes? Is there a cultural shift based on results coming? 
100 percent there is going to be a cultural shift. And you mentioned the Black Caucus, which stood for more food stamps when Obama announced it, but sat when Trump announced black unemployment. That is disgusting, OK? And that is because they work for leftists. It has been infected. It is a swamp. And I'm telling you right now, we are on the brink of an ideological revolution, and the black community is going to start waking up. And I'm so happy that I get to play a part in this. I, I got to tell you, I admire you so much. You are a force of light and a star. and. Um, I am going to really enjoy watching your career trajectory just soar. And I wish you all God's grace and success in the future. Thank you so much for being with us. And thanks, thank you, Kanye, for what he did for you, too. Thank you so much.